So in the analyze process, the first deliverable, if you if you can recall, we said we have the three milestones. The very first step was to have the gap numbers. So we used ISO 27001 and ISMS framework in order to have initially the gap analysis to see where we are standing in terms of its implementation in our organization. So uh, you can see in terms of information security controls, about 32%, and that's about 33% of the information security controls are non-existing in our system. And that was basically 17% um, are at the initial level. And more than 50%, you can see that we are not very well implemented, and that is basically the potential vulnerability threat in the future for reoccurrence and the new cybersecurity incidents happening and disrupting our uh, services to our clients. And on the other side, ISMS framework implementation, then we did the gap analysis with the help of Jay, he provided us with the NIST framework, and we uh, were able to understand that how vulnerable, vulnerable our system is because we found that 44% of the ISMS controls were not even, I mean, we were not even knowing that those controls exist in the framework. And about 15% were non, non existent. You can say about 60% we were, very, we were at the vulnerability stage. And thanks to this gap analysis, Thanks to Jay, in order to better understand where we are standing with reference to the framework and the ISO 27001 implementation, and so that we can convince our top management to move on because it's a very critical issue, and uh, we need to move on to the to the, their implementations. So this is just an explanation of like what we say that what is unknown, what is non-existent. So it's a description of it. So it's the same. Uh, table that we graphically presented, but here with a description of what each status means. 